Divers from oil companies located within the North Sea have been discovering the remains of a drowned ancient city, which once spanned from the UK all the way to Denmark. An ancient city so massive its suspected population has been estimated well into the tens of thousands. A team of climatologists, archaeologists, and geophysicists have now successfully mapped the area, which has revealed just how vast and expansive this once lost land once was. Many specialists are now claiming this was once the real heartland of Europe. This enormous civilization is now believed to have dated back to some 8,000 years ago, and that the landmass was submerged over a period of several thousand years, a submersion which began some 20,000 years prior. Dr. Richard Bates of the Department of Earth Sciences at St. Andrews, who organized the Drowned Landscapes exhibit, covering the finds within the UK, says the data reveals the human story behind Doggerland, a now submerged city of the North Sea that was once larger than many modern European countries. Could these discoveries reveal Doggerland as the real lost city of Atlantis? Several hypotheses have placed the sunken island of Atlantis within modern northern Europe. Most noted among such researchers is Olaus Rudbeck, who suspected that Doggerland, as well as a Viking Bergen Island, which is thought to have been flooded by a mega tsunami following the Storega slide in 6100 BC, is the real location of Atlantis, a proposition he put forward all the way back in the 1600s. Some have proposed the Celtic Shelf as a possible location, and that there is certainly links to Ireland. Many places have been put forward for the possible location of the sunken city throughout the years, yet none have revealed ruins worthy of such claims, many of these areas being too small to have housed such an enormous city. Doggerland, however, fits the bill. Not only could it turn out to be the largest ancient civilization found on Earth, but it also rests in a possible location based on historical research for the city of Atlantis. It was submerged at one point in its history, and it is revealing astonishing ruins of a once great and presently unknown civilization. Dr. Bates, a geophysicist, said Doggerland was the real heartland of Europe until sea levels rose to give us the UK coastline of today. We have speculated for years on the lost land's existence, from bones dredged by fishermen all over the North Sea, but it's only since working with oil companies in the last few years that we've been able to recreate what this lost land looked like. When the data was first being processed, I thought it unlikely to give us any useful information. However, as more area was covered, it revealed a vast and complex landscape. We have now been able to model its flora and fauna, build up a picture of the ancient people that lived there, and begin to understand some of the dramatic events that subsequently changed the land, including the sea rising and a devastating tsunami. The research project is a collaboration between St. Andrews and the Universities of Aberdeen, Birmingham, Dundee, and Wales Trinity St. David. I will keep you posted on their future discoveries. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.